particle accelerators, like the Large Hadron Collider seen here, are essential for fundamental research in particle physics. However, these devices are immense, spanning kilometers, and come with exorbitant costs. Wouldn't it be great if they were much smaller? Well, back in 1979, two UCLA scientists proposed a theoretical design called Laser Wakefield Accelerators, offering a much smaller alternative. It took over 40 years of hard work and numerous commendable attempts, but finally, a team of scientists just recently reached a major milestone and unveiled their compact Wakefield Accelerator, only a few meters in length, yet capable of generating an electron beam with an energy of 10 billion electron volts. To put this in perspective, a conventional particle accelerator for such high energy would need to be at least three kilometer long. So how does it work? If we look back at the theory laid down back in 1979, a laser wakefield accelerator starts with a powerful short pulse laser hitting a low density gas. We say the laser excites electrons of the gas and ionizes the gas forming a plasma. Then the ponderomotive force drives the plasma electrons to the highest intensity regions of the laser pulse. Then they get pulled back by the space charge force of the ions, resulting in an accelerating plasma wake. In very simplified terms, it's like the electron is trapped and carried by the laser. This is a completely different mechanism than in conventional particle accelerators, where giant's magnets are used to create an electric field gradient. In contrast, in laser wakefield accelerator, the gradient is on the nanometric scale, thus the acceleration rate is a few thousand time higher and the device can be much shorter. The snapshots you are seeing now are the plasma wake at various positions and the wave moving from left to right. This is taken from a truly elegant experiment reported last month in Science Advance and was the first experimental observation of this laser plasma wakefield dynamic. What you need to pay attention to is the scale here. It takes just a few millimeters to accelerate. For many years, the issues has been how to control the plasma and get a powerful beam while keeping the device small. But now, a team led by Konstantin Anikulaisai and Bjorn Manuel Hegelich at the University of Texas at Austin achieved the milestone of producing a 10 giga electron volt beam in just 10 centimeters. The key innovation was the use of nanoparticles generated inside a helium gas cell through laser ablation of a metal surface. The nanoparticle triggered the injection of electron into the non-linear plasma wake. This enables higher charge density, increasing the energy of the electron beam. The other key of this successful experiment lies in the use of one of the most powerful laser source in the world. Indeed, the energy of the electron beam output is logically dependent on the energy of the input laser. In their record experiment, the team used 150 femtosecond pulse duration and an ultra-high 130 joule energy from the Texas Petawatt laser, apparently the only operating petawatt laser in the United States. This laser is obviously consuming a lot of energy and is relatively large, a few meters long. But this is almost nothing compared to the size and energy consumption and cost of conventional particle accelerators. It is really incredible that such a powerful electron accelerator can now fit into a fairly normal room compared to being a few kilometers long. Although this is clearly impressive, a few more challenges remains to be solved. In particular, the quality and stability of the electron beam need to be resolved. Authors propose that using an aerodynamic lens could help control how and where the electron injection happens and thus improve the quality of the beam. Authors did not demonstrate this in this work, but I believe it is just a question of time, effort and money to see further improvement. It is an exciting time to be working in this research field. I will keep an eye on this, so do not hesitate to comment, like and subscribe if you want to hear more. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.